News Source. You've probably heard of it, but in case you didn't know, the Small Business Administration is a federal agency that connects entrepreneurs with lenders and funding. The idea is to help people plan, start, and grow their own businesses. And joining us tonight is Jackie Robinson Burnett with SBA. She's here to tell us more about what's called the 8A program. And Jackie, thanks so much for being here in studio with us tonight. Thanks for having me. I am the Associate Administrator for the Office of Government Contracting and Business Development, and we oversee the 8A program. I'm here with the Alaska, um, in Alaska attending the Native American um, Conference for 8A companies. And 8A companies are small disadvantaged businesses, and President Biden has really made a focus on government contracting for small bis disadvantaged businesses. And he's even increased our goaling to 15% by 2025, and we are getting close to it. This past year, we awarded over $76 billion to small disadvantaged businesses, of which Native American firms were, were awarded $23 billion of those contracts. And they use those contract dollars to provide benefits to the community, um, dividends to shareholders, and I had an opportunity to go to Cognac Island yesterday, and I saw some of the educational programs, housing, and some of the cultural benefits from those companies. Okay. So, Jackie, those are the upsides. But in the past, several years ago, the 8A program faced some criticism on Capitol Hill by lawmakers who said it gives an unfair advantage and can award money without competitive bids. What safeguards are in place to make sure that it's administered in a fair way? Well, um, you know, the safeguards are in place, and yes, the, we have received some significant challenges, not just in Congress, but in the courts. And the SBA is fighting to make sure that these programs are fair across the board. And, you know, there is a consideration that it's unfair for um, certain companies to get sole source awards. But we really think about the benefits that are coming to the communities and these Native communities from these organizations. And it's not just those benefits. The federal government has a need for civilian agencies and Department of Defense to be able to get contract services and supplies uh, on a short notice. And what I have found, and I've spent 35 years in the federal government in contracting and acquisition before coming back as a presidential appointee. And what I have found in my career that Native American firms are agile and they are responsive and they can get the job done very quickly. And it allows contracting officers to get millions of dollars on contract without the long drawn out process of competitive award bidding. And so I think with every program, you're going to have um, groups of people that will say it's not fair, but I can tell you that this program is a program that benefits not only the communities, uh, specifically the native um, communities, but it also for individual owned 8A companies, it benefits those companies and they're providing educational um, benefits and housing and all types of things for their community. So, Jackie, there are lots of SBA resources that people can access on their uh, own time. Where should they start? They should start with sba.gov. And we have a district office right here in Alaska. And it's an awesome office. sba.gov slash AK is a great place to start. If you're interested in government contracting, please go to the sba.gov site and click on government contracting and learn everything you need to know about starting a business, growing a company, um, and we have different certification programs, not just 8A, but woman-owned, veteran-owned, and historically underutilized business-owned, of which Alaska, many parts of Alaska, are historically underutilized business-owned. All right, Jackie Robinson Burnett, Associate Administrator for SBA's Office of Government Contracting and Business Development. Thank you for joining us tonight to give us your insight on this. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll be right back.